Welcome back to another video, and today we're simulating a war between, uh, not war between, what happens if China invaded Taiwan. Oh, you guys know that I just pro is kind of quit mapping, he's still uploading mapping, but it's going to be less, less as it goes on, and he's going to upload gaming, so I would have my best stab at uh, mapping, which I've done before, and let's, uh, First time in this kind of video style, like talking mapping video. So yeah, um, let's uh, see. So it's probably usually that, probably usually, <laughs> that um, China would start this war and by entering the sovereign territory of Taiwan. Here's how we would probably see what we want. So, we'll probably see, um, like, I just get to, like, a bunch of ships, um, uh, the army, the navy, and the rocket force just coming in. And then... We would probably see a very, very small, very because it's very contested, uh, landings on in central Taiwan. Um, but Taiwan will be able to bear the blast and brace for impact, as it would have warning from satellite. Uh, it also uh, controls the Kinmen Island, so it could. Technically, Tower mainland when the uh, the attack's going to be happening. So, it attacks these two provinces. Um, and now, international criticism and stuff would absolutely hit China. And also lots of staggering losses on both sides. And now, Japan is going to be um, thinking about entering the war. On Taiwan's side, as the USA prepares for kind of attack, um, defending Taiwan and attacking Chinese positions in Taiwan. So Japan mobilizes its um, its uh, air force and it well it doesn't really have an air force but its self defense forces but. For the the case of this video, we'll just use the words Air Force, Army, and Navy for Japan's self-defense forces. Um, so Japan's um, Air Force and Navy installations, um, that of the chain of islands, which I didn't put on this map because it'd be way too complicated, um, about, around here, there's like a small chain of islands kind of linking to Taiwan would be alerted and um, mobilized and huge shipments of soldiers would depart America to uh, state to be stationed in Japan as lo as kind of loads of people and troops and reserve and Reservists also get ready, but they're not being called officially called up yet, and they prepare to leave across um, naval cities uh, like here, here, and here, and also here. So, as that happens, South Korea also mobilizes its army, but doesn't come to the defense of Taiwan. The reason this is because. Uh, South Korea believes that North Korea, seeing Chinese invasion of Taiwan and call for unification, sees it as a pretext for attacking South Korea under the name of U reunification. So then, is it, it, will, it will take a few days for the first shipments of uh, Japanese troops to reach the eastern coast of Taiwan and 
huge barrages from uh, missile bases in these chain of islands will uh, hit Chinese ships uh, in this kind of street where most of the naval combat's happening. And that is where the main fighting's happening. And then, um, after a small stalemate, um, it will, it will, it will probably be possible that, with Japanese help, Taiwan pushes back and splits the kind of um, the Chinese in the invasion such like stronghold in West Taiwan and kind of creates this pinhole and which they hope to capitalize by swiping through but just not yet just not yet and then in this situation China begins to attack southern Taiwan And it is met with rough terrain and rocks and just ter- hard terrain for them to fight in. And not hard for Taiwan to fight in because Taiwan's troops are trained in these areas. And it looks like, a ev- to the detriment of Taiwan's government, uh, the Taiwanese populace will probably take up arms on their own and try to fight off Chinese positions and attacks. So then, it, uh, leave it, China evacuating its troops from the northwest and repositioning them and to reinforce the attack on the south, while even more troops, now American troops, come in from Japan and, and pour in, and some material aid like ammunition and, um, well more tanks and weapons come in to Taiwan from South Korea. And then countries like India, well, countries like India and some neutral countries in Southeast Asia would call for the immediate cessation of violence between the two sides of China and Japan and Taiwan. And now Japan would deploy its... uh, an army in what well, it's already de- sent some uh, into Taiwan. Now it's going to be sending them into the front line without what well, kind of Taiwan itself. Like they're they're going to be attacking on their own kind of Lushin, and they're probably attacking the south in a blockade. And then by this time, um, the Americans would set up a huge naval blockade just across here. And the chain of islands that Japan has. So essentially, China is kind of blockaded. And yes, America is preparing to brace for impact because it knows that China will break out. And now, um, several rocket ships in the Chinese side bombard Philippinian positions Philippine naval, naval positions and the Philippines is an American ally so that would bring the Philippines into the war on the American side bringing even more tensions that is not part of the Philippines uh, bringing more tension and well this is almost like a world war now Yes, uh, the Philippines is in the war, but they're not going to be invading. It doesn't look like they, they could send troops, but it doesn't look like they would. Because first, Philippines would kind of... Well, first, the thing is, China's, China's, this is already a war, but China would see this as an even bigger war. And in case Taiwan falls, um, Philippines would be on the front line here and, yeah, alter... But America does send troops. There are already troops stationed, I believe, in the Philippines. But they're going to send more. Because America themselves are going to 
use the northern Philippines and the northern island Philippines to springboard a counteroffensive to completely drive out China from Taiwan. But that is in the later section. Now Japan would um, b- bombard more positions in this area inside of the uh, blockade. And South Korea wouldn't be very happy because, yes, it can still trade with uh, Japan, but it wouldn't probably because it's in a war right now and its economy, it looks to protect its economy. And another th- and if it wants to ship with almost any other country, it needs to go down here. But there is a blockade here and it doesn't look like they would open the blockade because Chinese ships can rush through. So we will probably see that Korea would not be very happy and is slowly losing money. Now here, Vietnam isn't in the war yet. Also, I forgot Hainan is a territory of China. Let's just fix that. So yeah, here is the status quo of this conflict. Huge naval battles rage across this section of the Pacific between the Japanese navies, the American navies, and the Chinese navies. And lots of missiles, rockets, barrages, and ambushes by these countries. And Philippines is bracing, is well, preparing for the worst case scenario while hoping for the best. As it see as it prepares for a Chinese incursion into its territories, as it already been swarmed by missile strikes, bringing it into the war on the American side. Now we will probably see, uh, after many months or well, weeks of waiting, China would push through. And almost cut Taiwan in half. But American troops that have been stationed in the Philippines would come back up and push push China out of Taiwan. But with hardness. Because this territory has been held for weeks and China has prepared and prepared for defense of this kind of area of Taiwan. And Taiwan, uh, Japan, and Taiwan take another stab at China's uh, occupation here, and all that remains of China's occupation is the coast. Well, and China is severely um, out to equip, uh, not out to equipped, but slightly um, let's say strained because of this naval blockade. So then. Huge naval attacks break force these the Japanese navies to retreat back up to here, and the American navy well to just kind of rearrange themselves, and they probably go on to the coast of Taiwan. Yes, the Chinese navy has just breached the naval blockade of its economy. One. Well, just naval blockade. Now, uh, the southern islands of Japan are open to attack, but the Japan China wouldn't likely to. Its main focus is on Taiwan and this island chain. These island chains are not breached just yet, but uh, they give significant headache and bar to the Chinese navy. And now. It realizes if it wants to win this war, it needs to be, it needs to get into the Sea of Japan, for to not invade Japan, but to destroy Japan's capability to help Taiwan, and help the Philippines, and America solely has to come and defend its her allies. So, 
Wait, I just forgot my tree. Oh my god, but this map is severely underprepared. So now the signal is sent. North Korea enters the war against South Korea. Tokyo gives immediate assistance to South Korea in the defense of its homeland. South Korea is South Korea's army is is entrenched and has been preparing for this moment for since the beginning of the war as I previously said. Huge that is not the right color. Huge let's get this. Huge North Korean armies and arrangements pass across the like rush the DMZ and cross into South Korea, breaking this kind of horde and making this kind of panhandle. While South Korea braces for impact and prepares for a counterattack from Seoul. North Korea didn't go directly for Seoul because it would be heavily defensed. And China would will not give any backup to North Korea as its main focus again is on Taiwan and the complete like occupation of Taiwan and then its troops and manpower will be freed to help its allies. This is to keep Japan distracted or to kind of remove Japan's safety curtain in a sense. So South Korea pushes up into the DMZ and keeps just this line of defense um, from reaching uh, South Korea's capital Seoul, which is in this region, and to reach and from reaching so Japan's important area of the east and south regions. So it sets up these walls of kind of breach defense. One connect like this, one collecting like this, and one. In case the the worst case scenario, South Korea also starts building this starts construction of nuclear weapons. Even though the n- nuclear weapons are banned in the simulation, countries can use them as kind of deterrents in a sense, because they won't know that nuclear like bombs aren't working slash banned. So yeah. So, yes, South Korea already has resources and can build them any minute they wanted to. But yes, South Korea built its defences and yes. Yes, yes. The Chinese Navy does set up a small blockade of the country here. But it is only consists of not only one only one layer basically in a sense um and does not have it is not uh, meant to be kept it's meant to distract japan and south korea's navies and will continue up here because north korea breaches the first war in the south Pushing down and reaching the second wall. And this long completely falls back under the order of the general and reinforces the second wall. And Seoul is at the danger of being cut off from the rest of the country. And then a counteroffensive takes back this land and almost cuts north the invasion force there and there. And this is kind of almost just taken over and all the troops taken prisoner. And now we push up. And South Korea takes it back its territory and coast and now all the troops that set up are now taken 
So this line is completely taken off the system. And all the troops and resources are transported to the front line in North Korea. This line is still kept. And the construction of a smaller wall has begun for just underneath Seoul, connecting it to the first wall. The second wall, sorry. And now these resources are dedicated from the front line and Japan's first shipment of troops have reached and they send them to the front line, not uh, to the south, which made them take longer, but which means they can use them faster in the front line in eastern North Korea. And North Korea is kind of dead. I mean, its army just got taken out by a master plan and it looks like China is also stalling in the Pacific well in the Strait of Taiwan and as China cons consolidated its navy and regrouped a huge push takes back what looks kind of eerily similar to the first invasion at the beginning of the war and now at the south another thing and now at the north, where Japanese reinforcements used to come. Now it looks like Taiwan is completely done, but not yet. And it looks like Japan is, um, not Japan, sorry, China is trying to connect these kind of invasion points, kind of like D-Day. And now uh, into kind of North Korea, China, s seeing the dire situation, finally send some equipment and hardware helping to push down South Korea into this, creating a border stalemate eerily similar to the one in the Korean War, but in different places, of course. Now South Korea takes the chance with its aid from, um, from Japan to bombard... Um, since the from the North Korean and Chinese troops, because this front's always been moving, um, South Korea has never got the chance to, uh, like kind of use artillery on, uh, North Korea's positions and in China's positions. And South Korea breaks through the naval blockade that was here previously, and pushes the Chinese navy back to this part and ports just above Shanghai and the South Korean Air Force and Army protects this part of the sea as the South Korean Navy catches up and now this part is fair game for South Korea to kind of get and this will be detrimental to China, as its capital is in this area, Beijing. So, China recognizes that this front is crucial for this war. And this has become a defensive war. So, China's plan is to push down. And it wants to uh, take over this coast, so it can bombard... China, Japanese shipments and Japanese uh, kind of military cities dotted around this area so they can quickly send troops to South Korea but now they're going to be bombarded by China and they're also going to make sure that Japan doesn't have time to counteract this is going to be like a surprise attack as China has now relaxed a little bit of North Korea, um, North Korea, sorry, Taiwan, is now setting up uh, its reservist troops that were planned for Taiwan that are no longer needed because Taiwan's just, it's kind of, just, this has turned into a stalemate and reservists are now being sent um, up north. And this is all in surprise. And... In a few months, they they will reach. 
Philippines after months of waiting and kind of bracing for impact it finally calls for conscription which brings up a lot of soldiers it can entrench and um it also calls it calls up at least 25 to 50% of its reservists to help america and to a huge counterattack in taiwan so this part's taken transporting troops to the front line stalemate here and it pushes up here and that's where it stops because of time and a supply line is currently strangled as the chinese na the chinese southern navy bombards this supply line and also china claims this area of the sea with its fake um naval island bases and it attacks the supply lines and cuts the supply lines off from at least 75 to 200,000 55,000 to 200,000 American and Filipino soldiers in Taiwan but the Taiwan still helping them so they regroup and prepare and the Philippines navy is getting lots of monetary aid from America and America's navy which has been kind of in Japan this area after it's China has just been broken through now is sailing to this area and it's also sailing here to Shanghai this coastline and as the South Korean Navy sh is in this area so it's creating uh, a tighter blockade kind of like a necklace of diamonds um, theory from India and as per request of its Taiwanese ally and American ally and also from bombarding in this part of of the region sorry this is the wrong thing India joins the war on Taiwan's side and the Indian Navy it gets sent from its base here and it blocks off the Malacca Strait with Indonesia, Malaysia's permission and it cuts off the Malacca Strait so China cannot get oil anymore. Russia uh, is not is kind of stuck in the middle. Its ally India is all against China and its ally China is also in the war but they're also kind of enemies. And so Russia kind of refuses to accept this war, kind of. They they just don't see it happening. And they kind of shut down diplomatically with kind of China. Um, and they're also to sell energy to China. So now... India calling up its reservists and secret private armies put stations troops in north east and Pakistan which we can't see on this map as it braces for impact from China and the Indian Navy after successfully cutting off the Malacca Strait passes through the Malacca Strait and, and creates a small garrison blockade from its, from its neutral ally Vietnam here and another neutral country here. And this is kind of a warning to China's army slash navy bases here. Because India assures, now it assures Vietnam's, Laos, 
Cambodia, and now the Philippines territorial integrity. And if the Philippines is to be bombed again, or actually invaded, these Indian ships will attack this Hainan and also attack all these uh, naval bases and islands and will threaten China's southern coast along with the rebuilding of the American Navy. Myanmar, which doesn't know who doesn't know what to do, um, receives aid from America in return for joining the war on on its side. Bangladesh would like to stay neutral in this conflict, but might join the war in the near future. Same for Nepal and Bhutan. Bhutan is under the defense. And in real life, assures Bhutan's defense. So if China does attack Bhutan, uh, India will come to its aid and by extension, Bhutan will be in the war. Vietnam stays neutral and stalemate begins in the Korean Peninsula. And then a counterattack again so many counterattacks guys from china oops that is not the pen tool from china kind of bring kind of brings the kind of uh philippines such american troops that are down here south to the to the front line and then now uh now Taiwan's kind of split north and south. And then these American Filipino troops push up, mustering the strength they have to kind of pulp China out of this region. And the American Navy also gives aid and bombards the Chinese ships that are Kind of using missiles to attack these troops here and here. So now that kind of distracts the Chinese Navy in here. And then in coordination the the attacks here. And they also use artillery to bombard that. And also here in northern Taiwan where... Uh, the Chinese positions are and completely pushes China out. Not a single trace of China is on this island now, as of now. But things might change. And then China wants to. Oops. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, mine magically left and now it's back. Now, China. Its navy kind of destroyed in the south and in, even more threatened and slowly running out of oil and kind of in stalemate here in threat of its capital needs a quick victory anywhere to maybe put the allies... Slash the Merco American Japanese Indo Indian Alliance um at the negotiation table and China is thinking Taiwan has at least two hundred and fifty thousand to 500,000 troops on it. F- various nations like South Korea, Japan, and the Philippines, and America. It has become a stronghold with naval support and artillery that could r- wreck China's internal cities. 
oops, internal cities and uh, on the coast and normal like coastal cities, and also um, its naval installations, but isn't yet. And it looks like since Taiwan is secured, Japan will put its focus on Korea, and looks like that. Korea might break through this halt here, and the Philippines is just too far away, and is also insured by India, which would be starting a what's a one two three four. so it'd be starting two more fronts at the same time, and be opening a fourth front. So front in Philippines and front here and would be detrimental. So either you could prepare for the attack and attack the Philippines and Bhutan and India at the same time try to take on all of them. Bhutan would probably fall and leave in India's internal defences out. Or it could attack India's neighbour, the the Burma, and India would take time to respond. It would. On the 31st of May, 2036, 4,000 Chinese troops cross the border into Burma, starting often called the Second Struggle of Burma. As the invasion continues, a huge, massive force takes pass. But unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today's video. And I'll probably see you in part two. Bye.